Hi. Hi. We are going to have some time. We like to pray together as a church. I think that's a good idea, don't you? And uh, I love that song because it, really two important things in it, and it comes from the book of Revelation, uh, that they are victorious by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Okay? Uh, if you don't know, the blood of their Lamb <laughs> is the blood of Jesus Christ in which he suffered and died. Very symbolic of um, him forgiving us for our sins, taking our sins upon himself. So it doesn't matter what you've done in your past, um, he took it upon himself. And that's a great thing. That's a wonderful thing. And if you've experienced that, you go, yes. And hopefully you've not got to a point where you experience that. Now you go, yeah, that's just something I know. Uh, but maybe think about it over and over. And sometimes you have to think about these things over and over again. Like, wow, that's absolutely amazing. Because it seems like to me in my life, the more I look at my life, the real I, I realize, I say, how messed up it is. I'm like, oh, I've got this down, and I've got that down. And then when I start thinking about it and looking at it, it's just like a pit that spirals down and down and down. And I'm like, wow, I just fail miserably. But that's why Christ died. Because he was the one um, who suffered and, and died and overcame. Um, we don't have to overcome sin. And that might make some people really mad. You do not have to overcome sin to find salvation. Okay? He's gonna, he started the work in you. He'll be faithful to complete it, but it's not your work to do. It's his work to do in and through your life. And so, the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony, okay? And that is just simply what God's been doing in my life. Stop and think this last week, who have I shared the word of my testimony with this last week? All right, it doesn't mean it's like all planned out. Like back in 1972, I uh, came to know the Lord, and then it's been really terrible all the way since. Um, it's nothing like that. It's the uh, word testimony is God being in your life all the time, through thick and thin. When someone's having a problem, uh, you relate because here's how He helped me in that situation. Um, with that, I, I think it's a really cool testimony. We have someone who went this morning. See you there. Can I get a microphone? Just quick. All right. So, uh, you know, sometimes we baptize here. Sometimes we baptize wherever we can baptize. All right. Wherever there's much water. And uh, uh, so anyway, just tell everybody your names. Here, you can hold this on. Hold My name is Sierra. Sierra. Okay, Sierra, how old are you? Fifteen. Fifteen years old. Awesome, right? She's fifteen years old. Wow. Congratulations on being 15. We're excited for you. When do you turn 16? Oh, March 20th. Okay, so that's my birthday. That's your birthday. Wow, amazing. All right, yeah. good deal. I'm excited for you. Um, but I'm really excited about your decision. Okay, I'm yeah. really excited about your decision. Um, Sierra is one of them kids. She's one of them people that are completely genuine. I'm talking genuine from the innermost bone of her body. Uh, joy springs out, and there's nothing fake about this girl. Okay? And I, I so appreciate you. You bring joy to a room. You bring joy. You just do. And uh, that's a testimony of God being in your life. And that's a really great testimony of having a great mom who's been there for you. Really. Um, so, I'm sure probably a good mother who took care of real nice there also. Good role model. <laughs> <laughs> so how to be or how not to be? Or yeah, yeah. You're just good guy. Good guy. So uh, anyway, um, what happened in your life to make you go, you know what? This is something I want to do. Did I come knocking on your door and say, Sierra, come on, what's up? You haven't been baptized yet. Uh, you ready to go to school? Did I do any of that kind of stuff? No, I'm just worried about him. Okay. Um Nothing really changed. I just want to be in my life. Okay, and that's key right there. Have him in my life. I'm, just, I'm serious because yeah. the Holy Spirit is around and moving, and God's around and moving. At baptism, just like when Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit descended upon him in his life. And he was empowered for ministry. Uh, it's the beginning of the walk, right? Some people wait and they're like, oh, I'm, you know, i got to learn everything first, and then I'll get baptized. That's not the way it is. You... It's the beginning of faith, and I like how you still want to learn more. Oh, picture. Is this picture? Oh, video. So, um, we're excited for your decision today. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Bible says all heaven rejoices when, um, you know, uh, I'll just 
just a, a sin because we're all sinners and fallen short. Um, re- essentially repents and turns to God. The whole heaven <coughs> rejoices. Now, you're in what grade? Ninth now? Freshman. Freshman. So you know what 10,000 times 10,000 times 10,000 times 10,000 equals? No, you don't. You'd think a freshman going to Gem State would know that for sure. That's a big number. Okay? But that's how many angels, or at least symbolically whatever, sit in the throne of heaven. And they're all rejoicing right now. And God rejoicing. And he's like, I thought that channel was four. And they're like, yeah. And I don't know what it sounds like, but I mean, there's a roar. And, uh,. So we're really excited about your decision today. Now, um, at 1.30, right at 1.30, we're going to Eagle Island Park. And uh, the far parking lot, farthest part of the parking lot, there's a pavilion there just right off to the right of that. We're going to have a baptism there. So we really we're gonna go down um, there. encourage you to come. It's $5 in your car. But pack it in. You know, How many how many Christians need to pack into a BW? <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is. Do whatever it is. They'd all be fighting over who's on the front seat. We're excited for you, and right now I'd just like to pray for you. And pray for anyone here that is making that decision. So like, you know what? I'm going to let go and just let God for once in my life. Uh, you, you won't regret it. It won't be easy. It's not supposed to just be easy. Um, with uh, sometimes hard times comes learning. Sometimes. So uh, if you want to do that, um, God hears that prayer this morning. And for, for those of you that um, have made that decision and are just like walking around doing stuff, not really thinking about it, just kind of being, living in the name of a Christian, but not really knowing him, um, I'm praying for you this morning too, that there can be a different, different uh, religion. Um, I met with someone this last week who um, attended here. And they are really having a hard time. And I'm thinking of that person uh, this morning. Uh, they've been baptized. They have found healing from God. They've been healed from meth and alcohol and all kinds of stuff. And they're back doing the same stuff. And they're like, sometimes I think that um, being free of junk is a process. And, and knowing the process. And if I do this and I do this and I do this. And never really know him. And what I like about you is that you're going to know him. All right. That's cool. So let's pray. Um, Father in heaven, thank you for just working in our lives, for not leaving us out there uh, to walk in life by ourselves. Um, for everyone making a decision right now to follow you again, uh, I ask that you go deep within the heart and take away any stone that's there, any hardness, um, and help you just say, yeah, God. Um, thank you for giving us life. For those that are just accepting it now, I say thank you. And for Sierra, who has accepted you and uh, going to walk in your way, Lord, we ask that you would um, give her lots of power as there will be lots of boys coming her way, temptations here and there. Um, and uh, I just ask that you protect her and put the right friends around her. Um, thanks that we can uh, be a part of that. And uh, just, and God, <laughs> you give us life and you give us uh, life abundantly, you say. So uh, thank you in Jesus' name. Now our next song.